Okay, um, I'm doing some set beat stuff in order to show you uh, some behavior that I really don't like here in Cakewalk Sonar. So um, I've been doing some stuff here. You can see that this is a freely improvised section and I've been going through and dutifully doing set measure beat at now, you know, just going to places, you know, aligning them and that changes the tempo so that it will you know, so that my notes that are right on measures or beats will be properly on there. And uh, you'll see here. Okay, pretty straightforward stuff. You can see also that it's made up of two clips here. Got this MIDI clip here, which I trimmed to here. And you got this MIDI clip here as well. You'll notice that this mini clip here is really quite large for all the note content that's going on. And we'll get into that. I'm going to go here and just, this note's a little bit early. I'm gonna click on that, hit Shift M. Boom. And suddenly a whole mess of note data has appeared here. What is this note data? Well, this note data is actually from here. This thing that I had actually trimmed prior to doing that set beat. Um, it is now there. I don't want that stuff there. I'm gonna trim this thing again. I'll trim it even a little more. Obviously, I don't want to go that far. Yeah, so. Okay. All right, again, I'm gonna go here, click over there and then hit Shift M and set measure beat three. And again, I get that whole mess of note data, which really sucks. You know, what does this sound like right now? Well, that's stuff from a previous recording. Okay, I'm gonna trim this thing again. And I guess really what I should be doing is after I trim it, just uh, actually, bounce the clip or something so that stuff is gone now so yeah now that crazy note data is not going to be there anymore when i do these further ones yeah but that's what's going on when i do that shift beat um uh, shift m for setting measure beat it will also change the size of my midi item clip and that sometimes means that i have uh, note data that I thought I had previously trimmed away suddenly being exposed again. And in some cases, it doesn't expand the MIDI item clip, it actually truncates it. So instead of notes appearing, notes that I had put in there will actually disappear. Um, I'm not sure exactly why it does one or the other. In this particular case, it's going to expand all my MIDI item clips. So this is not exactly desired behavior, um, and it's kind of annoying for me. Figured I'd just record this, and uh, if I'm doing something in particular that's wrong, please let me know.